hello friends it's me karthik hope you guys are doing really good so one of the commonly asked interview question is can you explain about hash code in java okay so basically hash code is a integer value and it will show you at which memory location that value being stored okay that is a hash code and this hash code is coming from hash code method okay this method is available in object class so by default all the objects like you know for example i am taking integer strings all the pojos like the collections you have all of them any object in java will extend the behaviors of the object class so every object will have the hash code method okay let me show you that uh here okay i have taken i have taken a number one integer okay so if i keep number one dot hash code it will return me that value okay so okay let me write it here cool okay now it will return me that value here you could see here this is how you are going to get the hash code of any any object dot hash code will return okay then let me show you like number two is equal to five okay and sys out number two dot hash code what it is going to return is it going to return different is it going to be written same okay and also what i would like to show is number one dot equals of number two okay if i apply like this what will happen is see both of them are returning five and five and it is returning true that means there is a relation between equals and hash code what is that relation we are going to discuss here so before that as i said everything is coming from object few of the important methods here are the clone and uh, equals and uh, we have is a hash code okay so i have written this here this is also a common asked question can you explain what are the methods available in object class equals hash code and clone okay here as i said there is a relation between hash code and equals right when two objects are same typically they have the same hash code here number 1 and number 2 are equals to each other same means here equals okay when two objects are equal they have the same hash code okay but the vice versa might not be same always because sometimes you are implementing you are you are overriding this behavior of hash code if you leave it to system this consistency will be you know uh, there but if you are implementing those that means you are overriding this hash code method then sometimes because of inefficient implementation that vice versa might not be true okay i'll show you that as well here this is uh, this is a thing this is as i said it is available for all the objects right let me show you here simple str dot hash code like that okay and it is available for pojos as well i have you could see here this is a pojo right so let me take that pojo here directly sc is equal to new school okay then i can have that hash code here okay here who is implementing this hash code since it is going to extend the behavior of object class object class itself is going to be you know uh, implementing this hash code and here is the your implementation will be there okay uh, okay and if you open object class you will understand as i said sometimes we are going to override this behavior of hash code right so you can simply override and you can take both of them only suggestion is you are simply calling the hash code method that is object one or you can simply here you can implement that that uh, you know 
uh, equals and object so only there were few suggestions okay we commented i will tell you them okay one by one so don't override hash code if you are not overriding equals because hash code and equals need to be consistent if you want to override override both of them that is the first thing and the second thing is let's say you are using here we have fold four fields right let's say you are using only two fields in equals method to identify both objects are equal or not please use the same fields in hash code that means i am using the two fields please use the same two fields in hash code if you are using four fields please use the four fields same four fields in hash code so that the consistency will be there between equals and hash code what is the relationship between them is when two objects are equal they have the same hash code okay as i said it is a integer value typically a memory location right so this being used in hashing based collections like hash table hash map and hash set because it will use the concept of buckets that thing we will see it slowly but this is about the hash code hope it is useful for you guys thank you so much for watching time